In this video tutorial, we're going to learn how to add some basic elements and some simple styling to get started. So, uh, first of all, we're going to click inside the design view uh, of my page, so in the main body area, and I'm going to give my page a background color. And to do that, I simply make sure the cursor is blinking inside the main body area and click on the CSS Designer panel, open it up, and I am going to go to um, the Selectors field and click on the little plus sign here. And notice that it automatically chooses body, the body element, um, because that's all I have selected in there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Return. And then I get a series of property shortcuts up here in the properties area. Um, and um, the fourth from the left, if notice if you hover the mouse over them, it tells you what these property groupings are. The fourth grouping from the left is the background um, grouping. And I'm going to choose that and simply go to background color, click on the little pop-up uh, color picker. And I'm going to choose this sort of salmon color over here for my background color. You can choose whatever color you want. When you're done, hit return again. And voila, the background of your page changes. Um, and so that rule is now inside your CSS document. So you've created it inside Dreamweaver. But if you click over here to the desktop CSS um, link to the file, you can open that up and in code view you can see this is the actual CSS that was written just then um, as we um, added that background color. We're going to go back to source code for our HTML source code. Back inside the body, click inside the body area again. Now we're going to add our first element to our page which is going to be a header. So I'm going to go over this time to the um, insert panel and choose insert. From the HTML grouping pop-up here, I am going to choose header and at insertion point, leave that set to insertion point, we're not going to enter this as a class but rather as an ID, click inside the ID field and we're going to call this header. And I'm going to click OK. So I've just created a header called header and I'm going to highlight the text which was already highlighted and I'm going to give my page a, a heading. I'm going to call it David's Great Website and I encourage you to put your own name in here um, come up with whatever name you want uh, for your site be creative as you wish. Um, I also want it to be a little bit bigger than that so I'm going to highlight it and choose from the format pop-up menu, I'm going to choose Heading 1. Um, and so it is now a little bit larger. Um, it's aligned left, but that's fine. I'm going to leave it that way uh, for the moment. Now, notice that the, um, the header itself goes the entire width of the page uh, of my site. And if I want to preview this in the browser, I go down to the little icon of the globe down here and I click on that and I'm going to preview it in Safari. You've got a couple of browsers here to preview in but I'm just going to choose Safari. It asks me if I want to save and I'm going to say yes, save it. It also said that some other files have been modified and in here it's referring to the CSS document. I also want to save that, yes. So now it opens up my browser and it shows me that I've created this header and it's aligned left. So I actually want it, rather than being like this, I want it to be aligned center um, of the page and I don't want it to be all the way to the left. I want it to be in the middle of the page. So I'm going to quit my browser here and go back to Dreamweaver and now I'm going to click inside the header and I'm actually going to select the header. And there are different ways in Dreamweaver that you can select web elements that you're working with. You can either go down into the 
tagline area down here and choose if you want to work with the header or the H1 element, which is David's great website, or the header element, which is the entire header region up here. Or you can go to the DOM panel over here, which is new, as I said, in Dreamweaver um, 2015. And you can select your different elements from in here. So I've got the head, the body. Notice if I click on the body, it opens up the header. So if I want to choose the header, I can click on that. And now I've got the header element selected. So with the header element selected, I'm going to close the DOM panel, open up the CSS designer, and I'm going to create a rule for the header div. And to do that, I simply click on the plus, and notice because the header is selected, that's the rule that it automatically um, knows that I want to style. So click return, and I'm going to go over to the layout area, which is already selected, and I'm just going to set the width for my header by choosing the width property and selecting pixels, and then I get this area that I can type a number in, or you could use a slider to move different values. But I'm going to make it 750 pixels wide. And 750 pixels is just a pretty good width for a web page if you want a fixed width web page. Um, uh, it's, it's kind of an, uh, an average size width for a fixed width page. So I'm going to leave it set to 750 pixels. And then I'm going to go down, I'm going to leave all the other properties untouched. I'm going to go to the margin area. And I'm going to set the left margin here to auto. And I'm going to do the same with the right margin. Set it to auto. And then I'm going to close the CSS Designer panel. So I've set my width to 750, my left margin to auto, my right margin to auto. Just close that. And so here is my header um, now, centered in the middle of the page and 750 pixels wide. And let's preview that and see what that looks like now by opening the browser, opening the page in a browser. And I'm going to choose Safari again. Yes, I want to save the CSS and the HTML. And there, you can see now that I've got my um, header div, so it doesn't go all the way over to the left unless I, of course, move the page over that far. So that's a little bit better, and now I'm ready to go on and start designing my other elements.